This is out of control in the District of Columbia. I just spoke at Sunrise Academy. And Sunrise Academy started off three years ago, graduating three kids, and then last, this year they graduated 18. And I heard this story. A young man, he got up and he said, you know, I never thought that I would live past 16 years old. He said, you know, my mother had mental health issues and I don't know where she is. He said, all I did was kept looking forward. I couldn't see anything, it was dark, and I kept looking forward. I've been homeless for three years, going to high school, and he graduated. And that is a problem. Too many homeless families in the District of Columbia, too many homeless kids in the going to school every single day. We need to do more to ensure that, one, the parents have access to quality treatment, whether it's substance abuse or mental health uh, 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 medication, or that their parents have access to get job training to get a job. That's why it's important that we can keep Phelps Architect Engineering and Construction High School open nights, weekends, and summers. And the reason why that's important is that for every kid that graduates from high school, whether they go to college or not, they should graduate from school with a skill to enter the workforce. We don't lack jobs in the District of Columbia. We lack the ability to employ our residents. We lack the ability to get the training they need so we can get out of poverty. You can't have affordable housing if you don't have a job. And you're not going to get a job if you don't have any job training. So I want to get to the core problem of growing up in the city. The problem is there's never no infrastructure to train our residents. And we just want to pass these laws so that we, we require you to hire people and they don't have no skills. So that's why, let me say, with all the support of my colleagues, we're able to get all of this stuff done so for the first time we have an accountability measure that's going to hold people accountable. So when you see these CUSA, it should be people that work in the district that, that live in the district of Columbia working on the project. No more of that will take place because we have a mechanism in place that's going to make sure it happens. Thank you very much. So now, let's get up, let's get up, let's get up. Now we're going to hear. We will yes, stay. Give, give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. We need to make sure we do it at the right time. Huh? Huh? So, we are going to, to be flexible because we want to make sure that everybody is heard and everybody um, uh, participates from, uh, with the democratic process here in the District of Columbia. Even though Latinos have these characteristics that we always late, though, right? <laughs> and yes, we, are, we are late. Candidate Orange, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we're going to, to break the rules at this event. We're going to bend the rules and give you three minutes to be able to, to share your vision with our community. And after that, uh, unfortunately, we're not here for the, for the questions and answers. But after that, we're going to give one minute to each of the candidates to, to do your closing statements. So, uh, is that with the permission of Councilmember Kamala, we want to work at the moment as well. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, today has been a great day in the nation's capital. Uh, all, of us, all of us have very busy schedules, but uh, I probably have uh, exceeded the speed limit by getting here. But it's, I'm glad to, to be here. Uh, we had a couple other events uh, tonight. But I'm very pleased to be here before the DC Latino uh, Caucuses. Uh, and I wanted to just begin by saying hello to everyone, and I'm really uh, glad to be here. I'm Vincent Orange, and I'm running for chairman of the D.C. City Council. I'm running for the council because the, uh, because of a departure by our chairman, Vincent Gray, who's moving on to run for mayor. And with that, we have an open seat, and I believe there's a void in leadership. And when you have a void in leadership, you need people to step up to the plate. And I'm stepping up to the plate, and I'm bringing leadership, maturity, and accountability. I can promise you several things. One, that I will fight every day to put our residents back to work. I will fight every day to improve our neighborhoods and our schools. And I also will fight every day to tackle those tough financial challenges that we face here in the nation's capital. Now you say, no, Mr. Orange, you're making all these promises. You know, how do we know that you're going to follow through? Well, I say, I have a record. I have a record of achievement, a record that you can examine. In my ward, I served Ward 5 for eight years and had the opportunity to bring the first economic development project in 20 years back to the nation's capital, Home Depot and Giant, 
uh, A.J. Wright, and a lot of other development. And the beauty about that development is not only do we have the development there, but we have folks that walk across the street from Brooklyn Manor and actually go to work. Because while they were building that establishment, we were there talking with HR, human resources, to make sure that we were going to be able to connect our residents to those jobs. Uh, in addition to that, I had the opportunity to bring back uh, McKinney Technology High School. That was before all this school and construction and modernization program got started. Also had the opportunity to bring Public Access Television, Award 5, to Brooks Mansion with $750,000 of, of renovations. And that provides an opportunity for our young people to come in and have television programs, become programmers, and things of that nature. Also, I saw our children on school. I, I saw our children on, t on television one morning, Fox Morning News, complaining about not having books for their core subjects in the month of May. School was out in June. I introduced legislation and brought to fruition legislation that provides books for our children by the second week of school. I'm the only person in the history of the nation's capital to create a holiday, a public holiday, DC Emancipation Day. I also had uh, new town legislation that was approved. And I say all these things just to say that I'm a consensus builder. I know how to make things work. I produce jobs. Check out the record. I have a very strong record. We're facing financial difficulties in the District of Columbia. We need people that have the expertise. I'm an attorney, certified public accountant. I have a Master of Laws in Taxation. I have degrees in Communication, Business, Law, and Taxation. And I use those on your behalf to make sure that you have a better quality of life. Vincent Orange, please vote for me on September 14th.